more analysis now from um, political analyst Javad Ansari, who joins me from New Delhi. Thank you very much for joining us. So today the streets are quiet and shops and schools are closed, but does it look like it will stay this way or do you think the violence will erupt again? Well, hopefully it will stay, but you can't wish away the dangers because the whole atmosphere has been vitiated by all this hate talk, by the vitriolic speeches and the seeming inability of the police to lay down the law and the reluctance of the courts to act and hold, a couple, hold accountable those responsible for vitiating the atmosphere and creating the kind of environment in which which has now erupted. Well, well, do you think, though, that is possible? Because our journalist has informed us from there that the authorities are not really taking any action at all. Yes. To our, to our great dismay, the, the, the courts have now decided to give the, the Delhi police and the union government a month and a half to come back on whether or not they will file a police complaint, register a police complaint against those uh, political leaders responsible for giving vitriolic speeches and thereby create, vitiating the atmosphere, which has contributed largely to this eruption of violence. Well, Javad, now uh, the reports suggest that mainly Muslims are being attacked here. <clears throat> now, this can get quite worrying as India has seen religious clashes also in the past, especially in 1984 in New Delhi when 306 were killed in riots. Um, are people worried that this will get um, very out of hand? Yes, that fear is always at the back of the mind of people. I have been in, uh, up and about Delhi and the usual hustle and bustle that you see on the streets and in the, biz and the bazaars is, is missing. People fear and dread that maybe uh, those uh, 1984 might revisit the, the city. And it's now up to the union government because it's the union government which controls the law and order, the state police in Delhi. And it's up to them now to enforce and ensure that there is no repetition. But that fear continues to weigh heavy on the minds of people. And Javid, um, what's the story exactly behind this controversial citizenship law? Well, this government earlier on promulgated a law which, which ensures citizenship to people from, in, from Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan of all religious denominations, barring Muslims. This many people, not just Muslims, and I underline the fact that not just Muslims, but a lot of right-thinking people in India believe is not just discriminatory, but this is a strategy to actually uh, deport and deny a lot of Muslims the right to their citizenship. Well, we have to wrap it up here, but thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World, Javed Ansari.